Hello everyone, it's time for another ZX Spectrum review on the 48K. It's Operation Hanoi, that's the capital of Vietnam you know. Uh, this game costs 2 dollars it's a rail shooter published by Players Premier in 1990. The game also came out in the Amtrad CPC and the Commodore 64. Now despite the name, it's nothing to do with Operation Wolf and Operation Thunderbolt, the arcade games from Taito, which came out on the Spectrum produced by Ocean. So we'll see how we get on with this one. It's, uh, as I say, it's a rail shooter. Or edit down the loading times so it's gradually going to scroll to the right and by shooting um, you know I've got the crosshairs by shooting stuff falling out the sky um, we get extra weapons and bombs okay so my my strength is in the right hand side that fills up with red we are dead uh, I find it a little bit awkward here on keys at the moment I'm using bullets there's no sound there's a 128k version so maybe that has got sound on that one but this is 48k is a bit quiet so you have to make your own gun and explosion noises yourself. Kabib, blam, kablamo, stuff like that really. Okay, now, um, uh, it is a bit underwhelming, isn't it? It's scrolling okay. Uh, the background and the foreground seem to be moving with it, along with each other, though they're struggling to keep <laughs> sellotape together. Um, so, the basic storyline of this in Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, is some evil wrongdoer uh, based in the port of Jaduba has uh, got some amazing tank thing and we must um, uh, go forward, destroy all these hordes and get there. Uh, we go through the port of Jaduba, which we are now, then cross the Mekong River, then go through some dangerous jungles, get to Jaduba and then seize the tank. Uh, the evil dictator we're against here is called, better watch how I say this, is called Li Ho Fook. F O O K. Yes, I'm not saying that again. That's way too risky. It's a PG channel, and we're going to blast his brain out. All a bit monochrome, but doesn't matter. I was expecting that on this sort of game. It's not as exciting as Operation Wolf or Operation Thunderbolt, but it's, it still was the name they knew what they were doing. So, you know, if you want a rail shooter, uh, put your hometown in there, uh, and then, um, you know, um, you've got a game with Operation. Operation South End. Mm, that doesn't sound quite good. It sounds like a game where you've got to try and keep South End United football team from going out of business. That's a tricky game. Way too difficult. Right, okay. So, um, we seem to have run out of bullets here. What's going on? I can't fire anything. Oh man, caravan. Well, that's that's a problem, isn't it? I haven't been given enough bullets. So now I'm just wandering, wandering along, being shot by all these people that don't look like they're from Vietnam, uh, killing me. I think this game is a bit too difficult, you know. It's way too difficult, but it's scrolling okay. It's quite late in the ZX Spectrum's run. Uh, this would have cost you £2.99. Be interested to see how this looks on the Commodore 64. We don't review Amstrad CBC at the moment, but I expect that had a bit of colour uh, on that uh, as well. Right, okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. It's game over. So it's okay. But it's just a little bit too difficult, really. And, um, you know, your bullets um, go. Uh, right. They, the bullets and the weapons seem to run out a bit too quick if you're holding your finger on the button, so maybe you need a bit bit more skill. Anyway, we're at the airbase at Chaduba Airport. Oh, God. Yes. Well, on my second go, it's it, the background's really cutting up. That's, that's That hasn't loaded properly. Oh, dear. Not sure if it did that every time. Maybe I need 128k on the case. But anyway, um, get your spectrum eyes on. This is going to be a bit of a brain churner. Um, kabiff, kaboom, maybe the game needs, as I say, a little bit more memory. See the bullets there thundering up and down. The font I like, uh, very similar to that of Commando, one of my favourite uh, run and gun games on the ZX Spectrum, if not my, well, it is my favourite, let's, let's not muck around. Good. If you are currently in Hanoi shooting people to try and get to an evil dictator with a suspect name, if you say it wrong, it sounds like you're swearing, then comment in the comment section below. Do that. BAM! Right, okay, everyone looks the same here. No, that's not racist. Look at the graphics, they are all the same. Right, okay, so, uh, button there I can destroy. It's like a smart bomb, the, uh, the, the the dynamite there. Kills everything on the screen at the same time. But I'm just taking way too much damage. I think to get the most out of this, you'd need some kind of poke uh, there to try and do infinite uh, strength. But it is quite underwhelming. Definitely needs the uh, sound there. Um, uh, animates quite well. So there's a lot of screen on screen at the same time, uh, but as I say, it's e there's either a tsunami coming in in the background or it's just not loading correctly. Hooray for us! Good. 
I don't think that's going to happen on the Amtrak CPC in the Commodore 64 version. The 299, I think it does offer you value for money. If it had been a, a commercial release, I, yeah, I wouldn't have gone to it. But uh, Operation Wolf and Operation Thunderbolt were the ones you would have heard of. Uh, they come out from 88 and 89 respectively. This is the one year afterwards. So um, players premier obviously thought, let's do our own rail shooter. Those other two from the arcade seem quite popular. Let's see what we can do. But uh, they made it a bit too difficult. Yes, if you had this game back in the day, let me know. It's not expert gameplay, it's been proved by now if you watch this far into the video. Uh, it's just seeing how you'd got on your first or second go and a bit of stress busting, seeing what games were out there at the same time. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button if, well, just hit it really. I'm, I'm not going to give it a reason. <laughs> just just hit it. I don't know what difference that makes. But anyway, do that. Uh, that will help me. Uh, by firing the health packages that come down, you get extra health to stop that thing on the right going red. But it's going to go red anyway. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. I've got a whole army shooting at me while I just go slowly past them on a skateboard uh, getting shot to Betsy. Yes, if you are currently on a skateboard through the port of Chaduba in Hanoi, if that does exist, uh, and getting shot to Betsy, then comment in the comment section below. Right, okay. Especially if that background's like that. It's gone crazy with a capital K. Uh, maybe three Ks. No, let's not do that. Uh, right. Um, if I had this game back in the day, I never would have got off this first level, never. But presumably, according to the instructions, although it doesn't fade for definite, you go to the Mekong River next. That's not the Mekong out of Dan Dare in the Mekong, it's an actual river in Vietnam. Hmm. Right, okay. Right. Loading time's not too bad, but I will edit it down a little bit. No one wants to see a loading screen forever. Or maybe you do. Maybe you do. Uh, right, Air Base of Chaduba which I'm probably pronouncing wrong. If you've ever been to Jaduba, does it exist? Uh, give us the info. How many people live in Jaduba? What's their catchphrase? Uh, what food's in Jaduba? I want Jaduba info in that comment section. But uh, please, if you are going to do that, um, I'll probably forget this commentary within about an hour after it's uploaded. Please, please say, Nick, you asked about Jaduba, and then say your stuff. Is it a dance move? Don't know. Jaduba? Sounds like someone was saying Star Wars in Jabba the Hutt's place. Jaduba? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No Jabba Wonka. Jaduba. Yeah, anyway, let's go. I'm available for voice work always. Look me up. I'm available. I've got a microphone. I can send you the stuff. Right, especially if it's Star Wars. Disney. Yeah, you know, look me up then. Good. I'm sure the makers of Disney watch all my videos, and it's only a matter of time before they contact me saying, Nick, we desperately need you to voice a character in our new Star Wars movie. And I say, OK, then. How much are you going to pay me? Oh, well, not much compared to the others. Uh, just $1 million. OK, I've, that's fine. I'll do that then. Good. Was there a rail shooter based on Star Wars? I would like to have seen that if there was. Uh, let me know in that comment section as we try and blast through Hanoi. Operation Tatooine, that'd be good. Uh, Operation Coruscant. Operation Death Star. Operation Geonosis. Geonosis. Right, go. See, it's endless, isn't it? The amount of levels you could have there. Why has no one done that? Or have they? Um, I'm getting very bored of this game now. Uh, it's, it's not loading very well in the background. Might be my version, don't know. Um, it's not progressing anywhere. It's too difficult. The levels are too long for the difficulty level applied. It, it looks good from the screenshots, but it, it's a very soulless affair. I'm not sure what it would have scored back in the day, but it's not really one for me. Um, I would have gone for Operation Before Thunderbolt, although those two weren't perfect by any means, but at least it had a little bit of substance, a little bit of, um, you know, bit of soul to it, a bit more character should we say, than this thing. It's not bad, but it's not brilliant either for 1990, and bearing in mind in 1990 I was probably playing Kickoff 2 on the Commodore Amiga, 16-bit uh, games were taking over, or starting to, so 8-bit ones had to be phenomenal to get your interest, and is this one phenomenal? No. Okay. Right, I'll just see how further I can get, but uh, stage one looks a problem. Now, there's too much on the screen, really, so the Spectrum is doing quite a lot of stuff here, and it's struggling. It's struggling with this stuff. I mean, well-coded, that's to speak, and uh, that game over bit's good, but it fades to different colours. Music's good as well. But, uh, yeah, well done, Richard uh, Hutchinson, but, um, you know, he was up against it a little bit. So, hope you like looking at that uh, one. There's a Rail Shooter, Operation Hanoi, 2.99 on Senator Fletcher 48K, published by Players Premier in 1990. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro or Spectrum, put that in the comment section below. It does create a bit of activity, you know, and I'm in your debt. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.
uh, the evil dictator we're against here is called, uh, watch how I say this, it's called Lee Ho Fook. F-O-O-K. Yes, I'm not saying that again. That's way too risky. 